Pa 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 I don't know why, I just, there's something about Uncle Lanky waving at us there from the background. There's something about him that I really don't like. He just excused this weird anti-charisma. And, like, it's really unfair, probably, and I'm sure that gameplay-wise, maybe he's gonna be fine. Ooh, he doesn't have a dash attack, so I'm gonna have to unlock that, maybe. There's just something. Wow, he cannot attack at all while ducking. All right. And he has weird doll seam arms, sure, then his attack there is kind of long. All right, well, looking forward to not playing with you for a bit. Yeah, because what I want to do today, so menu for the next few days, basically, I want to unlock the fifth monkey. I want Chunky Kong in my repertoire. The reason for that is so... <laughs> As of now, it hasn't been so bad, but yesterday, after thinking I had cleared up, like, the temple, and then having all those gross cyan bananas, I did not mean to... well... Alright then. Um... Like, uh... I don't know. It, it, it exhumed some kind of weird stress response to have this place I thought I had cleared up just suddenly not be cleared up. Now, I'm aware, like, that's what the game is about. Like, that is to be expected, but it just hit me in a weird way. And I want to minimize that by getting the next gorilla. And, uh, normally I'm pretty good at dodging around... Spoilers. Look at that. See? We just got these weird things now. Normally I'm pretty okay at dodging around spoilers, but... In a way that's lucky for me, I guess. Uh, you know, a helpful soul was like, Hey, but, you know, guy is in the next world. It's in world three. That's where you get the last guy. I forgot who it is. It doesn't matter. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. This just means that I want to get there. I want to get to the last place. And we're going to... Just, I want to unlock everything. So I don't have to deal with things reappearing. Now, the big genuine fear here... Wait, you have to do it separately per Kong? Okay. Um, you can't just automate it, huh? Alright. My big fear is that once I get all Kongs, this is going to unearth a part of me that's going to want to be very systematic and then like, you know, fully clearing a world before moving out. But as of now, I feel like this game worked because I gave me the, uh, you know, the, the ability to choose to go into other places from time to time. So I think I'm gonna rely on y'all to just kinda keep me honest about that, alright? Like, remind me that it's okay to voyage from world to world in flashing lights. Oh, I hope this is, isn't as bad in terms of flashing lights, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, wants you to be Didi there. We're gonna fight a boss as Didi Kong. I don't know what that means. Maybe... Like, what does Didi Kong have that Donkey doesn't? I don't know. Like, like all their abilities are sequestered to, like, barrels. Well, I'm here now. There's a TNT on the ground. Uh, and there's, uh, there's a tiny little dragonfly. There we go. It has been squished. Oh, what a playful little child just destroying animals like that. A mother's child uh, sowing what you're reaping, but because he's the protagonist, I tacitly agree. Alright, so, yeah, so we got a little hog out there. So, I got a little TNT barrel on the ground, which I can pick up and roll and throw at you, because you just decide to sit there on the floor. Now you're in the lava. Lava bug, a fire crown. This is the boss I fought yesterday in Okami. Alright, here we go. Here we go, fireballs everywhere. Totally not. Gratilda. Oh, look at those fire rings, though. Those are kind of legit, pretty sweet. It's a fire bug. Alright, the dragonfly. That's the real fun we're going with. This seems easier to Donkey's boss, but maybe things are gonna spin around. Oh no. Whoa, that's a monster. 
giving a little little spinner while I give a little little enter. I'm just a little monkey running around on a blurry dirty texture on the ground. Uh, so yeah, I'll just run. That's the thing with 3D games, just run. Just, just run, man. So you do, oh, the fake out. You're trying to be smart. Trying to predict where I'm gonna be, but you can't, oh, there we go. You were, you were having a laugh. I don't know why you were laughing about. That's it? Yeah, um. Wow, really? Is there gonna be a fake out? Not even? This was, this was not a particularly high effort boss fight. I mean, I mean, I'm not complaining. I guess it's done. All right, we did it. All right. In that case, let's go use that key. And uh, should I or should I do things here? No, I know what I said I wanted to do. Oh, that's not where I meant to go at all. Free the llama. I did that. I did that already. Wrinkly, please. Please keep yourself well informed about the activities of your still living family. All right, let's check out on Clumsy. He's gonna make a dance. Everyone's ready for his beautiful dance. Yeah, big key insert right there, number two. Come on, buddy, let's go. Show me your moves. <laughs> kind of got all squashed there. You did it. Okay, so that's on a big metallic island. Is it? Maybe? Anyway, that's gonna open up. It's like, is it like an elevator? It's like a lot of things are happening here. And also there's an underwater entrance? Are they separate things? I have no idea what's going on. Alright, well, thanks for dance. Like, that's, like, right beside this, though, so let's go check it out. Like, is there- yeah, there's a underwater entrance or something? Like, I can swim forever, so it doesn't hurt me to hang out underwater. Well, it hurts me in how it's very awkward to control, but that's not, like, pain pain. Yeah, look at that. I can go here. Alright, camera goes away. Is this World 3? Is this just, like, Mystery Cave? I have no idea. Where is here? Is this how you get here? You need to jump. Wait, there's a one of those guys. Is this the entrance then? Is there two? Is there? Did I open multiple worlds? Well, oh man, I don't got enough here. No. Read my teeth. What a weird sentence. Also, that guy's green, so Chunky's things are gonna be green. Spoilers. Alright, so I think I did maybe open two worlds, but, well, I don't know, like, and you need five, but for me, I don't know. Alright, but I also opened up something on Sweet Metal Island itself. Let's see if I can get, yeah, I can get here from here, but I can from there. Whoa, it's a jumping one. I just need to remember that there's an underground entrance there, but yeah, but I also opened up the Sweet Steps here. Stairway, Bad Attack. Bat snack, bat zone. Everyone's going to the bat zone. Here you get to run on the clumb bone. It's like a grid, you know, a clumb bone. There's like a moving shadow because there's a bee above. The important part is not that there's like something underground. Uh, this is like very hard to see, by the way. Like I saw a line there. I think it's a wall texture. <laughs> it's very dark. Hey, look at that! That's Donkey Kong Island! Alright, so there's some vine swinging there. Or you can go here. Oh, whoa, excited to follow ramps. I love ramps. They're my favorite snack food. It is possible that the next place is underground and I just need to do more things in the desert, though. Like, that is extremely possible. But here's Plumbo number four. What about those vines I saw? Is it down here? I just kind of went without really thinking. Well, ah! Alright. Forward momentum. Take our time. Forward momentum. Someone put... No, oh, no. There we go. That's how I change the camera. Uh, there's a big opening here. Alright. There's a DD pad here. So I can rocket barrel if I want. Snides HQ! What? So there's a snide thing on the map? Is that what I mean? 
What do I do with this? No, yeah, rocket barrel's a barrel. I guess I don't have the ability to DD pad yet. Alright, so... Oh, and I need to, like, get here with Chunky or something to remove this rock to get to an arena crown. So, you got a whole, like, menu of stuff. Oh, there's a coconut gun spot. I could have changed a donkey there and shot at that. You know what? Maybe I will and get a banana. Here's a Dixie pad, which again, I don't really know what that means. I haven't encountered one of those. Alright, there's a caged banana behind that island too. I need the purple gun, which is either Chunky or Lanky. I haven't unlocked anything for Lanky yet. Would it make sense for me to request someone to note down everything I need to remember? <laughs> that feels unnecessary. This is funny to think about. Honestly, that was a lot more generous in terms of hitbox, in terms of just like grabbing onto that vine. I'm a little happy. Yeah, so I went all the way here just to get transformed to Donkey. I probably could have gone to just an easier place instead, but. Welcome to Rao Cow's decision-making process. It's pretty good. Alright, here we go. Coconut gun. You need to be in first person because it's slightly too high. Alright, did it! I'm gonna get at least one banana. Let's talk about bananas over a screen of a banana. Alright, Dong. Don! Donkey Kong! Alright, we did it! One key, one banana. Progress! Wow, really? I can't do this as Donkey? <laughs> oh, just barely. So, yeah, jump heights do matter between monkeys. Oh my, you also don't have a sliding attack. Well, like, and then duck and then attack. Oh no, we did it there, huh. Maybe the input is a bit more, like, precise. Anything behind? Like, this is the game of check things behind things. It's a very bad title, which is why instead they call it Donkey Kong 64. So I got Warp 5 4 that leads right here, and I could have used all this time. That's fine. Alright, here I got 26 Benini, got a character six here, 15 bananas. So yeah, this is the actual new place to go. Got a mystery box. Game don't care. Alright. That's great. Here we got a lever. I cannot seem to interact with it. Okay, well, that's fun. Probably need to like, have a specific character to do so. It's probably an upgrade, which would be silly. I, I mean, okay, you could make an argument that that's the reason that you need to get like Lanky. Because, like, he has longer, like, elastic limbs so he can interact with things. I am absolutely wrong. Alright, here we go. I got plenty of teeth for you, friendo. Show me the bananas. And he eat some fries. You did it. I showed him the bananas. He didn't even pick them up. Alright, so... Oh, we're gonna get a cutscene. That's right, because we've entered a new world. Look at that little dog there. It's going bop, bop, bop. There's one of them Kongs! There's a weird line through a text. Probably an emulation thing. Oh, they're all so dizzy. And I, I don't remember that ever happening while I was playing, though. I, I do not, I do not have that little control. You can't do any of that. Carol's not even watching. This is just like on, on pet TV. That's what they're showing right now. This song! Okay. Uh, hey there on Sao Cow. And I'm suddenly having a nostalgia blast from Vine... DK Vine Radio. Where this was one of like the five songs that play there. So Chunk is there in a cage somewhere. Alright. 
So here we go, this is world three, Frantic Factory, we got a pad right here, we got a DK thing, we got a two right here. Squat, hi! They're fine, no, no kidding! Wow, I never would have thought that. Oh, it's just because it's the first time I go at a place with Lanky, probably. Alright, there's gross purple bananas there, and here the bananas are yellow. Alright, there's a map, we're at the lobby. I wouldn't happen to know- there's a robot. Okay, well, that was fun. There's snide, that's a window you can't just go through. Okay. There's a button there. There's, uh, punch cards. Alright. There's creme clock of them. I've all got guns unlocked for you. That's- that's great. Hey, robot duck, shut up. Okay, well what if I threw a grenade at you, huh? Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna give you a robot heart attack. That's just weird to think about. Here we go! Handstand, cause it feels good. And that does something. I guess maybe it opens a door here. It unscrews that valve. Good times. Is it a time release limited valve? Alright, well I mean that gives me a direction to follow. Is there not? A change barrel at the start? Isn't that the kind of service you'd expect early on in the level? I guess not. Did I just like miss it here in this room? Doesn't look like it. That's... I don't know. That's weird to me. Um, well I'm sure I'll have the opportunity to switch it one day. He has really long range. I'll say that. Yeah, so this valve is open. That's fun. But also we got... Oh, there's glass or something here. Alright. Well, going down. I don't know. Oh, ugh, this is confusing. Wait, so there's a mid-level? Really? Oh, but there's only bananas for tiny. I'm 2D now. I'm the 2D monkey. Yeah, uh, well, look. Yeah, I'm gonna need to be here with DK eventually. Like, I'm gonna get all of his money and stuff sometime. I'm not worried about that. Everyone needs to do something on some day. That's just true. Robot! It's like a robot duck without any of the charisma. Oh, production room. Alright, here we go. We're in the basement now. Here's a button for Uncle Larry. Uh, that looks impossible. Oh, banana, and can some weird, like, slip frame of a, of a, of a thing there. That's pretty good. Where do you go? I don't know. That happened somewhere. It's possible I need to use an upgrade I haven't picked up. There's the reject farm. All right. There's a button for a little lady. There's these pads. Storage room. That opens up. All right. Not scary at all. Buttons everywhere. Good time. There's the acceptance speech. Okay. There's the DD button. And I just went ahead and did a full circle. How do you interact with any part of this level, though? Let's go in first person mode and look around. I, I don't know. It's maybe just different people opening different things? I mean, I did open up a warp pad. It just feels weird to have to go out of the level to... You know, change plate. And also, I didn't unlock this pad, sadly. So I feel like we need to get here once, like, the factory is working. And I'm, like, here, like, too early. Or everyone needs to press their button to get the thing working. That's plausible. Is that where I came from? Probably. There's another door that opens me. Right here, yeah, storage room. That one just opens up still. Again, initial exploration seems to be intended to be done with. Okay, with Donkey, but you get. Okay, there we go. So now I got an express warp here from the start. That's nice. Whoa, ho, ho. Does he get the talent trot? So that he can run up things? Like, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Finally, a warp barrel. 
Alright, we got some lanky money. So the rainbow coin I got yesterday gave money even to the characters I had yet to unlock. That's nice. Well, since I went all the way here with lanky, let's keep the lanky run. Oh, hey! Alright, so there's a bunch of nonsense here, but like, this is where all the stores are. Let's see here. So we got candy, we got cranky. Both are probably important. We got melon feed. Alright, feed your melon and win a circle. That's a sentence. I'm gonna say toys with a Z. Alright, let's get you some upgrades going, stretchy lad. Stretchy guy. There's like two balloons here too, just to make things more interesting. Uh-huh, another of his potions, but for Lanky this time, for three dollaroos! Alright, yeah, go ahead, feed me up, old man. How do you eat? What? You grab it with your feet, it's like you're like a silly monkey or something. Orang stand. Like orangutan. <laughs> Pretty tasty thing, I guess. Should help you get up, see- Yeah, 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 it's Talon Trot! Alright, just press and hold Z and then B. Keep. So, Z and attack. Duck and attack. Alright, it's your lucky day. And you get the second upgrade too! Earn my next potion as well. All at once. Double potion. All the money you own. So, I guess I'm not getting the instrument yet. I'll live. It's fine. Upgrades are fun. Oh, you fell! Baboon balloon! gonna give you a balloon. It's a spleen. You'll have a swell time with this one, Link. Float around the air for a while, I'm finding my pad. Alright, so he got the chicken pad inflate. Oh, I've seen an animation of this. It's gross body horror. This is body horror Kong. I don't know why. There's a skeleton of Vanguard in the background, just kind of chilling there. Revenge for what he did to Wendy. Alright, so get here with Donkey and Tiny. Uh, I'll get here regardless. Like, I feel like I can't just go and get everything from everyone, because I'm just gonna get overwhelmed if I do that. Let's take it one time at a time. There's something on the floor here. Uh, it's a button. Yeah, did it. There's the button. Monkeys are excited. Somewhere, somehow, a gate is open. <laughs> Have fun! That's a DK pad, and there's a one. Alright, so here, I should be able to orangutan stand. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah! And then, that's a button. There you go. There's a button, and start screaming. Oh! I didn't even see you there! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Alright, hey! You wait in Tag Barrel. Alright, see, so now everything exists. It's a really weird thing to say, but it makes sense if you think about it a little bit. Now things won't just randomly appear. See, now we just got green stuff is just there. I won't be ambushed by the sudden existence of other things. Donkey Kong. Alright. Um, let's get things a little bit started then and get Chunko's like prime upgrades too. And honestly, I think I'll be happy with now. I remember this and I love that so much. Just, like everyone, when you go on them, they're like, oh, check it out. I'm a sweet protagonist. Like, and look at that. I stepped out of Tiny and she's like super mad. He's like, yeah, check him out. He's, now he's sad. He's like, oh yeah, that's right, I'm DD. He's like, oh, whatever, man, I hate you anyways. Here we go, DK, you know, like, when he's just flexing, he's like, check it out. Yeah, I'm the best. He's like, yeah, that's right, uh-huh, check out my sweet pseudo moves. He's like, oh, I just lost the bonus round. Meanwhile, Chunky there, like, he wants attention, but you put in the spotlight on him, he's like, oh, no, wait, no, I don't mean it, look. Look, see, look, Tiny has a sweet rainbow beanie. You should play with her instead. Then when he goes, like, oh, all right, we're good. I love that so much. That is so much personality. I love it. This was my TED talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa, Mark. All right, Chunky, what's your deal? You're super slow. You get exploded in the face. Just basic bunch, punch. 
Like, even your that channel isn't great. Whoa, love the animation there. Yeah, but you got a Zangief, though! So you're not all bad. So run, Nash attack, and so you're gonna have a duck and do something move. All right, gonna get this basic stuff. If I want to get your early bonuses out of the way too, still got your gun. I might return to earlier levels to get you and Uncle Stupid Face's gun. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's the right place. So that's the difference in in platforming between those two. Uh, where it was, like, a super non-effort with, uh, Jam Jar. But with him, like, like, it was pretty hard. And I think a big part of the game is, like, getting specific Kongs to specific places. Just to pay up. Alright. Chunky has an understanding of capitalism. Hunky Chunky. Oh, geez. That's terrible. Some sweet body horror. More edition. You can now use my special barrel with your face on it. You turn into a barrel with my face on it. All right. Change size. Oh, you change size. So you're like reverse tiny. You're in it. All right. Well, that's fun. And it's my lucky day. You got the sack one with only five buckos. That's not enough for an instrument, which is three. Prime and punch. So the animation's always the same for Kong. Like, we can see it here very clearly. All you understand is brute force. <laughs> okay. Press and hold Z. Yeah, it's a Z and B. To smash anything that takes your fancy. So we got Bruce Force to move. Sweet. I mean, that sounds exciting. So whenever I see something weird, I just go, uh. Yo! Okay, that's fun. Let's get the balloons that are here. Like, you got a change barrel, like, right here. Let's just do that. And that's the anti-climatic way we're gonna end today. Good time. So I know you're here, and there's also... Uh, wow, my aim is pretty good. There we go. Early bananas for an early year. Was it tiny that I also saw balloons for that have since despawned? And I just see yellow, and I just thought I saw something. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, okay. It's just a donkey balloony. Alright, but dead uh, video games. What's this pad for, though? Like, we just got this donkey pad here. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's a explodo barrel And now I'm, like, on the factory? Well, like, we're not in the sky. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting factory floating bananas. Those have the best flavors. Here we go. Oh, uh, what's that ring? I don't know. I guess it's an indication to how to get here. But there's more things to go, to get. Well, I just did something. That's what I did. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, I know what that means. I play- okay. Well, I'm not gonna say more about it for now. But I know exactly what I just unlocked, actually, it turns out, after thinking about it a little bit. Alright, this one just gets down real low. But is that like the mistake path or I don't know. Yeah, okay, so that brought me on a detour. Okay, well now I'll know for next time maybe. If you see a loop, it means a zoo! You know, it's that's just oh. Because it was already there. I just kinda slump awkwardly and die. I did it! Okay. Okay. A lot happened today. I would argue today was one of the most important videos in the series. I'm gonna pause before I blow up, man. I don't want that to happen.